Hey guys, my name is Brittany Curl. I'm your food crush, of course, and it's been a very long time since we've done a video, so let's just dive right into it. I am obsessed with the recipe I'm about to show you guys. It's a red mahi curry that I have made three times in the last two weeks. It's packed with nutrients, it's so delicious, it's hearty, it's savory. You're gonna love it, so let's just dive right into it. We're gonna get some coconut oil, melt it down. We're gonna dice up an onion. I guess if you're not crying when you cut onions, you're not doing it right, so. We're gonna add our turmeric and our ginger and saute that for another minute or two. Deglaze the pan with our white wine. Add our bell pepper, our lime juice, our curry paste, and saute this all down for about another three minutes. We're gonna add our full fat coconut milk. So I'm raising the heat after I add the coconut milk. We're gonna bring this to a boil, then we're gonna reduce it down to a simmer and let it just coast for a good 10 minutes. Okay, our 10 minutes are up. We're gonna add eight ounces of clam juice, half a teaspoon of fish oil, and our water chestnuts. We'll let that all come to a boil again. We're gonna take our mahi-mahi and cut it up into bite-sized manageable pieces and tuck the fish under the liquid. This is my favorite part of this recipe because the fish comes out so delicate. Remove the pot from the heat, cover it, and set a timer for five minutes. After five minutes, it's time to plate up. We're gonna start off by taking our white rice and putting it right down in the middle and make a little moat around the rice. Making sure you get pieces of all the mahi and the mushrooms. I like to add a little bit of spicy red chili sauce just for some extra kick. And then last but not least, some fresh Thai basil. You just want to dip it right into the sauce so all those flavors are extracted. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Food Crush. Mm. I'm going to go finish this now. Bye.